Can you believe I am making this video and you are watching this video and it's only 2021? This year, we have a dozen, a dozen of electric car models either already on the road or with first deliveries due sometime this year with over 300, 300 miles of EPA range, which is the most conservative standard out there. So let's get going. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of electric car scoop. If you are interested in everything that's going on in this wonderful world of electric cars, well, all you have to do is click on that subscribe button that's looking at you right now and the bell notification icon right next to it so you don't miss anything moving forward. So the cars that we are going to be talking about today are the ones that do have the EPA rating, which means that they are available here in the United States. Now, I personally think that EPA range is not conservative enough because depending on where you live, which car you're driving, the weather and how much you like racing Corvettes off of the red lights, I'd shave off another 30% to be safe, but let's stick to the standard we've got. Now, before we start, a funny story, because as I was doing research for this video, Toyota apparently paid Google money to remind me that they too have an electric car with over 300 miles of range, 400 miles of range, actually. But the bad news is that it is a Toyota Mirai, which is a hydrogen fuel cell car. And as you know, I don't really accept that type of a car as a viable solution plus it's only available in california and it doesn't seem like this trend is going to be growing so uh, we're just going to go ahead and waste toyota's money all right so let's get going and let me get the boring stuff out of the way first and i don't mean to call tesla boring because they're not Teslas are actually the most exciting cars ever made. But the boring part is that I'm sure you guys all know that all four Tesla models that are on the market right now have at least one version with over 300 miles of EPA range. So the Tesla Model S has 412 miles of range with a Plat model coming pretty soon and that will improve that even further. This one starts under $80,000. The Tesla Model X has 360 miles. It will also be improved with a plaid mode. This one starts under 90,000. Tesla Model 3 has 353 miles of range. That one starts at 46,990. And Tesla Model Y, 326 miles, just under $50,000. All right, four down, but we have eight to go. And I think that's amazing that we have eight different models that are not Tesla, that are gonna be on the market this year that have over 300 miles of range. So let's get to number two. And this is yet another car company with all models that have over 300 miles range. It is a California startup Lucid Motors, mainly because they only have one model for right now and it's debuting this year, highly anticipated the Lucid Air. It had a tough road for a few years, but this year it is a publicly traded company and it is well funded. Their CEO, Peter Rollison, is often credited for being the one who has brought the Tesla Model S to life back in 2012 as a chief engineer at Tesla. The Lucid Air is going to come in three different versions this year. The first one is the Dream Edition. It will have 503 EPA rated miles. This one is sold out. Only 500 will be made. It starts at $169,000. So it's not cheap. Zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds and a quarter mile in just 9.9 .9 seconds. The second model is the Grand Touring version with 517 miles of EPA range. That's right. 517 miles. This one will start at $139 thousand dollars and the cheap version of you know for the common folk uh, will start at ninety five thousand dollars that's a touring version and it will have 406 miles of epa range all three versions will have an industry record 350 kilowatts maximum charging rate that means you can add 300 miles in just 20 minutes and all of them will come with three years of free fast charging at Electrify America. All right, before we get to number six, a quick reminder that this channel and this video is sponsored by Xpong Motors. Check out another EV with way over 300 miles of range, the P7, a beautiful electric sedan, if it was sold in the United States. Unfortunately, it is not, but 
I just got to drive one for a day a couple of weeks ago and I was pretty impressed. Check out my full review and Xpeng Motors on Facebook. Both links are down below. At number six, I have the Ford Mustang Mach-E and I have to say, I just had it for a week and I have not felt this much attention since 2012 when I got my Tesla Model S when nobody knew what it was. I mean, people are stopping you on the street, taking pictures, asking you what it is. A lot of them already know. I mean, you just feel like a celebrity. And I thought you get this type of attention only when you hit like 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. But no, nobody cares. I literally considered just not giving this car back to Ford. I, I would be like, eh, listen, I, I lost it looked under the couch, looked under my pantry, it's not there. The California Route 1 Edition has 305 miles of EPA range and it starts just under $50,000. And the premium version has 300 miles of range and it starts at $47,000. Number seven and number eight are both taken by Rivian. And I remember a few years ago when I was attending their launch event, nobody knew about that company. And it was like, okay, another EV from a weirdly named company. And yes, Rihanna was there and I was probably like the only person who didn't know what she looks like. So I did not know whether I bumped into her or not. My ex-girlfriend was really mad at me that I didn't take a picture. But since then, this company has done very well with billions of dollars invested from major companies, including Ford and Amazon, which has ordered 100,000 delivery vans which are now being tested on the roads in California. Rivian is essentially unstoppable. And even Tesla fans that normally hate all other cars, at least like Rivian. The Rivian R1T, which stands for Rivian's first truck launch edition, will have over 300 miles of EPA range and will start at $75,000. And Rivian R1S, which stands for Rivian's first SUV launch edition, will have also 300 miles or more in EPA range, and it will start at $77,500. At number nine, I have BMW i4, and this one kind of snuck up on us. You know, BMWs probably realized that they still don't have a real electric car on the market in the United States. I mean, they do, but I don't think they know that they've been making the i3 since 2013 and probably just forgot to shut down the factory. It's not a good electric car. That's all I'm saying. But lucky for us, they have unveiled the i4 with 300 miles of EPA range and the deliveries will start later this year. Granted, it doesn't look like the awesome concept versions that BMW has been putting out over the last couple of years, but it does look better than i3. So I think it's about the little victories. At number 10, I have Mercedes-Benz EQS. Now, at this point, we don't know what it looks like. The launch, the official unveiling is on April 15th. So if you're watching this video after that, you can just Google and see what it looks like. But the concept of the EQS is just the most gorgeous concept car of all time. I had a chance to drive it. I absolutely loved it inside and out. I loved it so much, as you probably noticed, it's in my intro. We don't know the exact EPA range just yet, but it should be around 370 miles. And if you can afford it for whatever six digit number they're going to price it at, it will probably be one of the most amazing electric cars ever made. At number 11, even though we don't know the exact MSRP price just yet, but the expectation is it's gonna be around $40,000. So that means it will be the cheapest electric car with 300 mile range on this list and I'm talking about the Nissan Aria. That's right, Nissan has decided to make its second electric car after refreshing its original Nissan Leaf, which has been on the market for over a decade. The Aria is a good looking small SUV with 300 miles of EPA range and it's expected to sell very well. And at number 12, I have the all-electric Hummer EV. You know it's the beginning of the end of guest cars when GM revived the Hummer and said it would only come in an electric form. And even though this may not be a perfect electric car for me, 
Those people who love Hummers will absolutely love this one. It has all of the cool features and one of the coolest user interfaces developed by a gaming company. The first edition will have 350 miles of EPA range, 1000 horsepower, and it will come at a bargain price of $112,000. $595. So, by the way, you just noticed I I made the whole video with my pocket like this and nobody said a thing. Come on, guys. Somebody should have said something. All right, let's try it one more time. Which car would you pick if money was no object? And don't say Nissan Aria all at once, all right? Give others the chance. Now, there is one more electric car that I did not mention because it doesn't really have an EPA range. It is only made for European customers, but if it did have an EPA range, it would have about 300 miles. I've made a video about it and I posted it for my premium members. If you would like to become one and receive bonus material like this one, all you have to do is click on that join button and support my channel. I really do appreciate it because I do this full time, all right? Looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.